Have you ever had to perform and just before the performance you break a string and then you spin the whole performance completely out of tune? Or maybe you're just tired of taking one to two weeks for your strings to break in? Well, I'm gonna show you in this video because I have a gig in six hours and I absolutely need to change my strings. I'm gonna show you how we can break them in real quick using just a blow dryer and a piece of paper. So I heard about this back in the 90s and I used to play so much that I would have to do this quite a bit. I haven't done it in decades, so we're gonna try it out today. We're gonna try to get a little bit scientific too. So I'm gonna, this is a guitar that I normally play on, my gigging guitar. And here's my other flamenco blanca. I'm gonna do it to both of these. This one will be our control group. We're not gonna use the blow dryer on this one. On this one we will, and that's gonna help us see if this trick really works. So step one is just to change your strings as you normally would do. I'm gonna do that for both of these guitars. I always like to put some lemon oil on the fingerboard every time I change my strings. That's just something that I do. So you'll see me do that as we speed up real quick and I'll see you back here when they're all on. By the way, I usually put on these Diodario Flamenco strings. I'm not an affiliate or anything, just, just a fact. I know what you're thinking. Scott, don't you have a team of guitar techs that do this stuff for you? But no, I'm like Tom Cruise that way, do all my own stunts. All right, now the strings are on this one. Next thing we're gonna do is tune these up to pitch and then we're gonna try the blow dryer trick. By the way, I thought that a lot of people might already know this, so I looked for it on YouTube. I couldn't find any videos about using a blow dryer on your strings or on your guitar. I did find people using a blow dryer to play their electric guitar, like Eddie Van Halen with a drill, but I didn't find this trick. Okay, I've tuned them both up to pitch. Of course, they're gonna go back down again, but the idea here is we wanna stress the string out. So this is something you should do anyway, is take the string and pull it like this when you're tuning. Really pull on it, make sure that it's not slipping, kind of helps it settle in a little bit. Um, I'm gonna do that on both guitars anyway here because that's what I always do, even if I'm not using the blow dryer, right? Just kind of stretching them out like that, making sure they're up to pitch. Looking, looking over here at my tuner. The real test here is gonna be how do the treble strings react? Cause those are definitely the most unstable. And those are the ones, you know, you gotta keep tuning them up every day for like two weeks after you change your strings. Hopefully we'll alleviate that problem with the blow dryer. Okay, both guitars are completely restrung. I tuned them up to pitch cause they're both gonna be coming down. And this is something I used to do um, a long time ago, as I said, and when I would do it, it was like done. Like it's if I had the guitar on for months, it was just stuck there. So hopefully that's gonna happen here. Um, if you were just doing it with one string, um, I'll show you how that works. But what we're gonna do here is we just need something to protect the guitar. We don't wanna take this hair dryer and blow it and melt the lacquer off the guitar. So we wanna go under the strings with this piece of paper or even like a light, very thin cardboard. Um, ideally, maybe like what a cereal box kind of cardboard would be. I didn't have that, so I just folded over a couple pieces of paper here. So I'm just putting this under the string, turn this guy on, make sure it's on really hot. Just going up and down the length of the string. Gonna tune it up. After you do it one or two times, you'll notice that they go down really far and that's what we want. We really want to tax and stress the string out so that it's gonna be broken in. Okay, I did it one time already. We're gonna do it again now that I've tuned them back up uh, again. Here we go. If you broke a string, you're just doing one string, you take that string, put the paper underneath that string only so that you don't have to, so that you're kind of not messing around with the other strings and then just do the blow dryer on that one single string. Did the blow dryer thing on this one. I'm gonna tune it back up to pitch. I'm gonna tune this other one, our control group up to pitch. I'm gonna leave them for 10 minutes, come back and see if this worked. Okay. 
Okay, I let these guys sit for about 10 minutes. Let's check it and see which one is more in tune. Let's start with this one, the one that is our control group. So I just tuned this up the normal way or put the strings on the normal way, stretch them out as I normally do, um, which I think everybody should do. And let's see here. Doesn't sound great. We're gonna test out, the real test is the treble strings because they're so unstable. So here's the high E string. That's registering as a D sharp. So not, not too bad. That's an A sharp. So we're about, and there's a F sharp. So we're about a half step off with those. And these are, that one's pretty, the bass strings are gonna stay in tune longer. So these are pretty close. All right. Now let's see how this one sounds. This is the one we did the blow dryer trick on. An E note, it's still an E note. B, that's registering exactly as a B. That's a G, D, A, and E. It's all perfectly in tune. This is something I used to do in the 90s quite a bit because I used to play, like sometimes I'd have three or four gigs a day. Then I would break a string or sometimes you just gotta change your strings but there's no time in between gigs. So this is a real handy thing to do. I wouldn't do it all the time though um, because I'm just assuming that it really harms your strings but maybe I'm wrong about that. Maybe it's totally fine to do every time. So maybe tonight I'll take this blow dryer with me to the gig. Hey, thanks for watching this video. If you subscribe to this channel, you'll get a new nylon string guitar lesson every week.